Welcome to Scoutadelic, the YouTube channel just for you. And I'm Mike, and we got a second birthday show just for you. We've got this. We've also got that. Quickly. Okay. But first, I'm in Nottingham to find myself my 25th co-host. So who is my co-host going to be this month? Hi, I'm Jordan, I'm the County Youth Commissioner in Nottinghamshire, and this is my 60 second scouter. Do you have a pet? I don't have a pet, unfortunately, but if I did, it would definitely be a pet hedgehog. What is your favourite campfire My favourite campfire song is Have You Ever Seen a Penguin Come to Tea? What's your favourite thing to cook? It's definitely got to be s'mores, because it's just full of sugar. What's <laughs> your favourite pet? Oh, my favourite badge, it's, it's got to be my, my Queen's Scout Award. I can't, I can't let go of that because that's so special to me. What's your favourite knot? Oh, my favourite knot? <sighs> Blimey. Okay, I think my favourite knot is going to be the sheep shank because it's useful, you can reduce the size of rope and also it's got a pretty cool name. What is your favourite colour? Oh, my favourite colour, uh, definitely a pink, a nice red hot pink. Uh, I do, but not as much as Batman. Batman. How long have you been in Scouts for? Oh, I've been in Scouts since I was aged eight, so that'd make it 14 years now. Over 14 years. Blimey. <laughs> so, welcome to Scoutadelic. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm very, very good. Happy to be here. Good. I'm so glad. You've always got to be happy to be here. And it is my second birthday. It's the start of my third year. And you're my 25th co-host. That's a lot of numbers to get in. It is. Um, and I'm sure that you're aware that at this point, you've got to teach me a scouting skill. But first of all, we have to thank the Aussie Scouts for all your amazing questions that you posted to this guy. They were actually Absolutely. quite cool. Yeah. Um, so, what is the scouting skill that you are going to teach me and these lovely people here? So, I'm going to teach a really, really simple skill right. um, and it can come in use when, uh, when you, you're out there in the outdoors and you're potentially okay. unprepared. I yep. know it's not very good for a scouter to not be prepared. I'm sure there's a motto in there Absolutely, somewhere. Absolutely, yeah. Um, but I'm going to teach you how to make a simple um, tent peg. Fantastic. So, what do we need? Um, so, for the scouting skill, we're going to need um, some wood that we can find lying around on the ground, right, okay. um, and a knife. Interesting. I've never been told that I'm allowed to touch knives, so this will be fun. <laughs> so, the sort of wood we're looking for, uh, it depends on the, the size of the, uh, the tent or the guy line or whatever you're going to use this peg for. Right. Uh, but as a rule of thumb, you literally use your thumb. So, it wants to be about as thick uh, as a thumb. Um, okay. So obviously, if you if you're particularly small, maybe make it slightly bigger than your thumb. But an adult thumb, um, and obviously, thumb thumb. <laughs> and depending on again how much it's got to hold, is that how much length you're going to need on it. So the other thing you're going to need is uh, a knife, and you just right. need to be ever so ever so careful with this, okay. and make sure that we're using it in the right way. Yep. Um, so with this particular one, it folds out, and I know that it's locked in place there. Right. Um, so that I know that that particular bit of it's safe, so I can quite safely put my fingers under there, and I know it's not going to close on it. Right. Okay. Um, but you obviously need to know the knife you're using, right. uh, and if you are particularly young, you're going to need to ask somebody's help for this bit. Okay. Um, so. What we want to do is um, we want to imagine that we want to take the top section, probably something like that, yeah. and we're going to put a cross cut in like that, right? Um, and then we're going to create a notch for where the rope's going to come under, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So what we can do is if we put it fairly deep that we can find it again, right? Okay. Um, and then the same the other way, right? Like that. And obviously this one's still got the bark on it. Um, so would you strip the bark off uh, originally, as um, in first of all, or not, or well, does it matter? Well, I'd probably keep it on, because we're going to strip the bottom part of the bark anyway, and probably a lot of this will end up coming off. Right, okay. Um, so now I'm going to hold the top, and what I want to do is I want to put the knife at the point where the crosses, uh, well, at the point where the two cuts merge yeah. at the yeah. cross, uh, and I want to push that down slightly, and I'm just going to start flicking that up. Okay. So push down and an, an a upward motion, making sure that it's obviously away from you. Um, 
and you'll see that it starts to create that notch. Now this is actually quite a hard wood, um, which is good. Is there a good. specific wood that you would pick out there? With the wood. Um, which wood is best? Uh, if you can find some drier wood, it'd be good. Right. Um, okay. But uh, obviously dead wood is best. We don't want to be harming those trees out there. That is true. Um, but uh, I'd say, you know, I mean you can use any wood if it's, if it's going to be uh, having to hold a lot of weight and then a harder wood is better right, but it okay. obviously takes that bit much uh, that little bit more effort yeah. uh, to create the notch um, so what we do is we're starting to yeah, create like this a notch groove, yeah. we can start to see that it's starting to get that, that notch in it there yeah. and that's that's where our, uh, our rope's going to sit under right. um, so again depending on the, the thickness of what it, the rope it's got to have around it is again, how, yeah. yeah, it's right. going to depend on how far in we want to go. The other thing we need to be careful of is that we don't go too far into the wood yes. uh, where it's going to make this a particular weak point. Right. Okay. Um, because obviously then our, our tent will come crashing down at like two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. What we're going to do is so that we can actually get this into the ground is we're yeah. going to create a point here. Right. Okay. Uh, so again, we need to be pushing this away from us. Right. Um, but this is where we're going to start stripping off the bark because right. we're going to be bringing it to a point. Oh, okay. um, like this. So it's up to you as to your technique, but I mean, I'm I'm pushing the knife away. But what you can do is you can actually pull the wood towards you, oh, which okay. isn't as much effort. So it's it does depend right. uh, on your preference. So I'm just going to stand up so I can do this quickly. Okay. Do you need protective glasses at all for sitting next door to you? I just, don't. Yeah, you. Oh, <laughs> okay. There we go. Um, so with that, obviously we've got the notch for the yeah. uh, for the rope, and it's obviously coming to a point here, mm -hmm. uh, and that should go very nicely into the ground, uh, and should take should take your rope like that. So there you are. Wow! So if you make your own tent pegs out of twigs and sticks, we want to see them. And yeah, that's quite cool. It's a souvenir for you. Oh, thank you, you. thank you. So Jackson's word of the month last month was. Scarf or neckerchief. Ooh, so we had some intriguing photos, which obviously, here they are. This photo was sent in by Amelia, uh, and this is her winning a group award with her group and rainbow necker. Ooh, very nice. Uh, and this is Sam with his favourite necker. I believe Bain and Powell in the background agrees there. Uh, so this is Anya with her collection of neckers on her wall. And this is Alex Peace Gadsby and Hen favourite neckerchief on a cuddly toy. How cute is that? So this, this photo was sent in by Charlie and this is him with his neckers that he wears at Cubs as well as this awesome poster. How cool is that, Oggy? So this month we need a new word, so take it away. Fundraising, and that's because of all the fantastic efforts that have been going on around the UK to raise money for the Jamboree and other adventures. The word this month is fundraising. And we want to see as many of your photos as possible, and it's dead straightforward to send those to us. You can you can get to the Shall I start that one again? Go for it. Go on, it gives then. me bloopers. Why, why not? The word of the month this month is fundraising. And we want to see as many of your photos as possible, and it couldn't be simpler for you to get those to us. Indeed. Uh, you can send them to us on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, and through the brand new website. It looks Sc so cool! Scoutadelic.com. So, as we have a youth commissioner, um, we asked uh, for our night in the life of this month to be a bit u shapery and their scouts have decided to take over the night. So we have First Snake Scouts. And here they are. Oh, no, 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 no,
Doesn't make for very good telly, this, does it? Very good. Is Hannah all right as a leader? So, the Woggle Box has been out again, travelling the world, asking one single statement, uh, and we want we were hearing your answers. Yes. So, this month it was asking... The qu one quality I like in a leader is... And here we are. <laughs> the best quality in a, lead in a leader that I like is being adventurous. The best quality that I like in a leader is to be supportive. The best quality I like from a leader is that they are fun. The best quality I like in a leader is they make me laugh. The best quality I like from a leader is that they're kind and helpful. I think the best quality in being a scout leader is like being forgiving because if a scout leader isn't forgiving, then a scout might not want to come back. And I think one of the best qualities a leader should have is that they are fair, which is if they don't treat scouts the same, then it isn't good and not everybody is getting the same experience that they should when they join scouts. And the best thing I think that needs being a leader is to be fun because you don't want a leader that's kind of all bossy because then that kind of takes the fun out of scouting. The best quality I like from a leader is that they're always creative. And the best quality I like in a leader is humour. And the best quality in a leader I like is creativity. The best quality I like from a leader is that they are fun and help develop my skills. So, because we've invaded a scout hut, which isn't yours, which no. isn't mine, we both invaded. We did. <laughs> we decided to have a rummage around and find out a little bit more. So here is through the scout hut. So I'm here at First Gotham Scout Hut because, as a county youth commissioner, he doesn't have a hut himself. So we're going to have a sneaky peek at what's in their hut. So they have uh, displays for beavers, cubs, scouts, and explorers as well. With all the different adventures, they also have, or been using U-Shape to figure out what activities they want to do, which I feel Laser Quest might be uh, popular. Orange stickers. All U-Shape stuff should have orange stickers. And they also have the ladies with the sashes, uh, the guys. And this is the mo their motley crew of what they look like. And also, if they want to know the time, there is a perfect clock that tells them 
However, it is always <laughs> at five minutes to four. <laughs> Love it. Oh, wow. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh, and inside the toilet, let's have a look. I always like, I always love a good toilet. Let's have a look. <gasps> Ooh, they have a hoover, so you can hoover up after you've obviously done anything in here. Two toilet roll dispensers. I'm impressed with that. A thermostat, which is saying 10 degrees, that's why it's a little bit cold. And a huge sink. Wow. Oh, I'm, in, I'm impressed. If you ever want to hide anything, there's chairs behind the stairs. Chairs behind the stairs. Oh, wow, look. Look at the history that they've got. Oh, that's gang show stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, that's, that's amazing. I love this. I love this. Uh, right, ooh, and then upstairs. Oh, don't forget, there's a first aid kit. Always be good with first aid kits. And for fire safety, they have not one firm extinguisher, but two, and a CO2, they're up there, that's it. Then in their kitchen, oh, ooh. so they have a, a year planner, all the different things that they're gonna be up to next year. Um, they have a, a really groovy microwave, I'm liking that. Uh, fire blanket, oven, lots of little amenities, sugar and tea, um, cups that are drying, and then they have, oh, ooh, going up. no way, they have a box just full of Lego, um, Some point. Oh, a, a thing of ropes, poles, another microwave in case you need two <gasps> pens in an OCD order as well. I'm impressed with that. Oh, scissors, glue. <gasps> they have wooden blocks. Oh, they could play a, a game that I did last year. Um, oh, and board game night. Best thing, flags. Got flags there. That's interesting. That's hovering up with people's heads. <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm, I'm so impressed with them. So, Oggy, my mascot, has been visiting that many different locations last year, and last month he was in... He was in Hull. Which is obviously where I am. So he returned home, but unfortunately, he's gone missing again. Again, and I don't know where he's gone to. So, what we want you to do is we want you to send in your posters of missing Oggy. So, the best ones will win a fantastic prize, and trust me, it's really cool. So, send them in either via website, via uh, Facebook or Twitter, or via snail mail. Snail mail. Snail mail. Snail mail. Snail mail. I've got a bit of a cold. <laughs> And the best ones will be picked by my next co-host, so send them in soon. So it's part of the show where we play a game of Scout Tennis because it was so popular last year and I lost. You did. Thanks. You're going to do it again. Just point that out because I'm so ready for this. So here we go. <laughs> So the idea is very simple. We have a category that we go backwards and forwards with, um, and we cannot repeat what the other person has said, nor can we take longer than five seconds, but the other person has to count, and we must pass, obviously, it from side to side. So, for example, if the category was pie, mine would be apple, yours would be... Um, oh, I don't know, shepherds. Shepherds! <laughs> I feel like I could be lucky on this one. So, here we go. This month, we have our categories by Ben, who's a district youth commissioner. You may have seen him on our show a few times. So, because I lost, I have to go first. <laughs> so, our first category is... Scout patrols. Scout patrols. Ooh. Okay. Otters. Hawks. Badgers. Falcons. Um, oh, um, after, um, lions. Cobras. 
Beavers. No, that's definitely not one. <laughs> it's not beavers. No, it must be a beaver. No. Just to note, since filming the episode, it has been revealed that that is a beaver patrol badge, and therefore I get the points. Sorry, Jordan. <laughs> so, our second category is. Stage activity badges. Stage activity mm. badges. Oh, now, without looking behind us. Ready? They're really up there. <laughs> I can just reach them, I just can't see them. Right, go for it. Nights away. Hikes away. Uh, time on the water. Ooh, um. <laughs> I thought I'd be really good oh, at this. Um, oh my god. Um, oh, got another three. navigation. Okay. Um, emergency aid. Ooh, good one. Um, um, it's not IT anymore. It is. You're not even counting, so this is your. Five. Um, it three. It is. No, this two, can't happen. This can't happen. One, oh, no! Oh, no! You were thinking of digital it? citizen? Or I digital was. maker? Or nautical musician? Or musical skills? Musician! Or, oh, dear. oh. Okay, it's going to be another disappointing uh, season of tennis for you, isn't it? Really? So, our, ca uh, our category is... Trees of England. Trees, Trees of England. England. Okay. He whittles woods. I did that, like, once. <laughs> okay. I, I just pick it up on the ground. I don't know what it is. It's either right. like soft or hard. Okay, all right. I'm well, going to be really at you for this one. Go okay. for it. All right, go. Ready? Yeah. Uh, oak. L. Ash. Five. <laughs> four. Ooh, what's my favourite one? Three. Um, um, two. Uh, one. <laughs> oh, Mike. <laughs> I've had five hours of sleep. Oh, my yeah. One is is Willow. Oh, then. I could have done Willow. Beach. Yes, and then I could have done... Um... So it looks like I am not starting off well. Woohoo! I may retire in this category at this point. Strawberries and cream. Way. Hopefully, I will see you again next month to see if I can actually win. <laughs> so that's the end of our show. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and tap the bell next door to it to keep up to date with anything that we get up to and any videos and when we release them. And be creative. Be part of our next show. That's very good, but I was still reading my thing, so it looks very rude because I was looking down at the table where you were talking about the first stuff. I don't know. Two can even be a co-host like me. That's it. Bye, Joe. And it comes with the hand action, doesn't it? Bye, Joe. Take oh. <laughs> out the Bye, Joe. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm a co-host. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she. So that's the end of our show. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and tap the little bell next door to it to keep up to date with all our videos when we post them. And be creative. Be part of our next show. Yeah, and you too could be a co-host just like me. Indeed. And by participating, you can get yourself either a one, a six, or a 12 show participation badge. Ooh, very unique there. But above all, be a little scaredelic. Goodbye. <laughs>